I was uh, involved in the in, uh, in, in, in the research and in helping the interventions uh, against the spread of the Ebola. Now, I was in uh, Guinea, Sierra Leone and Mali uh, during the Ebola, Ebola outbreak. And um, the response, uh, the official response, uh, essentially the biomedical and epidemiologic response, they needed to have a view of the communities because there was a lot of resistance uh, of the communities against the activities of the response, uh, either for the burial or for transferring the sick person to the medical centers or uh, to, 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 to follow the contact, to trace the contacts. For all these critical operations, uh, the response face a strong uh, resistance from the communities that come uh, f uh, from the silence response to non-collaboration response, even to violence response, uh, even, uh, rights, and so on and so on. So, uh, in order to find a solution to that, the response needed to have the view of the anthropologist to help to understand why people are acting like that. Uh, when we went to, the lesson we learned from that is that uh, the resistance are not uh, uh, are not uh, material. They are not uh, not something that uh, happen uh, from nowhere. The resistance uh, come from a, a structure, a dynamic of relation uh, of, uh, that uh, embedded the lack of trust and confidence. And if you interrogate the lack of trust and confidence, you will find out that uh, power relation play an important role. First, you have resistance, you have rejection, you have a lack of confidence and trust vis-a-vis -vis of the uh, states, the, the political power. And then you have also resistance uh, uh, towards the medical system. The medical system is seen as power uh, because the medical system, uh, the, the response, the biomedical response uh, and uh, the epidemiologic response did not have the, did not uh, have a, a good understanding of people. They did not know people. They did not uh, uh, operate from listening the, to the people. They come with uh, uh, solutions and try to impose the solution in an authoritarian way. Anytime you have authorities, you have such something that is seen as authorities that is imposed to them, people in general, that is universal either in Africa, in China, or in Japan, or in Europe, or in America, when people feel that you are imposing them some, something, they, they, they start by uh, taking distance, affirming themselves uh, as a fleeing, or combating, or facing the situation. Because the, the issue of freedom, of liberty, is uh, uh, connected with the one of life, human life, is necessary, turn necessary to freedom and liberty because the, the concept of life and the concept of liberty are interconnected. There are, in fact, I can say that liberty is consubstantial, liberty is part of life, is, uh, uh, is embedded in the concept of life. So, no wonder why people uh, react and resist when they feel that their liberty is, uh, is affected. And uh, another concept that is very important here that we find out is that same concept of liberty is connected to the concept of dignity. So when people think that their dignity are, is not recognized, you have uh, a reaction of, of, uh, of resistance and you have also mistress which fills the, fills the epidemic. So uh, uh, that was uh, the, the conclusion that we, the main conclusion that we arrived from our work in, in Ebola, and here I'm trying to 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 show how this config, uh, this this situation, this uh, lesson, are not only for Ebola. There are for the whole medical approach that need to be changed in order to include more space for listening to the communities, listening to people, recognizing their their dignity, and giving them the freedom that they need in order to to establish uh, a trustful relationship and in order to, to establish equal uh, uh, relationship uh, to bring equity and, and, uh, and uh, 
and recognition of the other uh, in order to find together solution instead of just having solutions that are imposed to them.